Station somewhere in Scotland. so far. Great view and uh, pace is good uh, and we've uh, had a good start. So I'm sure we'll make it in plenty of time. It's stunning isn't it? No way up Ben Nevis right now. Unfortunately two guys have dropped off but I hope they're better at the bottom. Just getting to the steep bit now. Yeah, mind yourselves up here, guys, it's a bit slippery. It's gonna become a mud act, Marvin. So sad. Alright, hold on, guys. No, don't, don't uh, smile, Marvin. Look how much. Oh, thank you. Hold on, guys, good job, it's good stuff. First bit of snow. Exciting. Finding our feet.
descending Ben Nevis. As a crew, we're doing all right. We've got some crampons on, so we're making some headway on the, on the ice. But yeah, we conquered the beast. Somehow I can't see anything, so we definitely have, you have to trust me. It's just, it's just tall. That's the whole video. Check out. Steaming up, after burners on. I think they did it before. Hey, <laughs> experts. <laughs> Good day, guys. Do well. Come on, Tom. Guys, stop doing that sunset. Nice shorts. Thanks. What a view. The sun's just set. We're nearing the uh, crags at the top. Oh, Scarfell Pike. Yeah. Living it. Team's doing well. So we're still climbing up Scarfell Pike. Nearing the ascent onto the Fino Plateau. Top of Scarfell Pike, we've made it. I don't know what we've done. So much for you guys. Yeah, all right, check my bag. Top of the uh, curtains. Down the slope. How's the other Scarfell Pike. Just heading down to the bottom now. So we're just making our way down from Scarfell. <laughs> Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, you're filming, so I thought you were waiting. <laughs> yeah, we're just making our way down from Scarfell Pike. We're now in the night time. It's 10.07. Uh, we're still on track to complete the three peaks within 24 hours, but it's just going to be a fast one. Okay, out for now. The 
food, check it out. <laughs> out by these lovely people. Thank you. Well, I can't actually see you in there, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Snowdonia, the last mountain. You can't really see a lot of it. Have you got any more water in your bus? Have you got any water? Uh, there is a full can. In the back yeah, of the bus. Yeah, we should have three. Uh, oh, look, this won't really need anything. Ollie! Oh, the final water. Guys, if you turn your head towards his eye, get your night vision in. Well, not even night, it's going to be your day. It's like 21, 57. It's quite good. No, 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 I could be wrong. There. The moon is actually being reflected in the lake, I think. We're going up there, up to Snowden itself. Still on the track. At the moment the sun's making Snowden look red, which is quite cool. That shadow there is making it look like it's two mountains, but there's only one. That was the best sight. That summed us all up. Like, yeah, we're all there. <laughs> Great. Sorry. Great. Oh, look at that cloud one. This stairs business going on. Well done, Pete. Well done, well guys. Well, well done, team. Well done. Oh, I was getting there as well. <laughs> oh, I'll start again. Okay. Yeah, right. sorry. Here's the deal. Oh. All on this side. How are you feeling? Well done, <laughs> right, I'm going to go down there. Oops. Get someone, come on get there. Ask someone to take it, so you're in it. Fine. What time is that? 23.04. Oh, right. Right. Mm. Just going to wait for everyone to clear off. Clear off. Get yeah, out. Exactly. Get out of my house. And down again.
smash that. Yeah. 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 Right, let's have the old medal holders the over there. <laughs> Put those bellies in, boys. <laughs> How are you feeling at the end of the three peaks? Tight in the knees, <laughs> It works, doesn't it, Simon? May I just say before we go on to the, the awards ceremony tonight, and of course with any event there are people, there are heroes, there are zeros uh, who will be getting awards uh, as we go through. But I'd like to thank you all. I couldn't think personally of a better group of people to have uh, entered and gone into our challenge. Okay, so uh, uh, what a fantastic achievement to get round in, in the 24 hours. Yeah. 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 Guys, guys, thank you. This is serious stuff. We're, in, we're not into our fun, are we? are too bad. Do I reward you? Uh, the hell, can I say a big, big thank you to all, all, all your parents that you don't see who have who come to meetings and, and it's been a, a real team effort in terms of that contribution and, and all doing our own little bit to make this work. So not only do we get a great weekend, but also that you get those lasting memories with your mums, dads, uh, and, and different people and they will be shared memories that hopefully will go through your life. So if you could give your mums and dads and people a <laughs> big <laughs> So, uh, we come to the first award, and the first award tonight is a big award. This is, you know, we're up there with it. And it's the King of the Mountain Award. Now, this is the award for uh, the person or the people who, who have been out the front, uh, the trailblazers, who, who, who we struggle to, sort of, to keep back, uh, but consistently over a couple of days. Uh, it was a very... very <laughs> I will give myself every one. So, uh, it, was, it was a tough decision actually, and, and the panel of me uh, deliberated over it for some time. And, uh, uh, the, the, there's a dual award, there's one present, but there's one award, and uh, you'll, you'll realise why. I think uh, it, on day one, and, and my decision came after day one, and that, that big hike up over Ben Nevis, up in that snow line, and it goes to uh, Simon Colridge and Marcus Colridge for the Mountain King of the Mountain Aww. Award. <laughs> Our next award, our next award, thank you, our next award is Team Player of uh, Three Peaks 2018. Uh, this award, lovely award, we're looking for, we're, me, I'm looking for, the person who is there for everybody, looked out for people, uh, has, has, has been there and has been a great team player throughout the three, four days and go through. Uh, and it's not me. Um, <laughs> it's not me getting out in 24 hours. It didn't become that. I was in it about uh, But this person who's got the award, I think, um, is a bit unanimous. He, he's, I, I never forget, I, I said to him, I think it was on Ben Nevis, I said, why are you at the back? He said, well, just making sure everybody's all right. I said, what if you're not all right? He said, I don't care about me. I'm just making sure they're all right. <laughs> uh, which was, shows the tenacity of that sort of looking out for the team. And I know the person great on this event. <clears throat> and uh, certainly today uh, was a real team player, stuck, stuck with his old dad. And that's Tormana. Oh, 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 oh.
Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, next week, enjoy. Well done. So, uh, we've got the uh, Unsung Hero Award, and um, this is for uh, personal people who have uh, just been there, uh, helped out in any capacity, and, and have had a, a, a sort of, a, without any due wanting any sort of credit for it. Uh, that's not me. <laughs> 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 Don't worry. <laughs> um, but the Unsung Hero Award, and, and, and this has been great because uh, we, we've all worked hard, we're all quite physically knackered, we've had those uh, sort of a big drive up, we, we put our bodies on the line, uh, we've had to work incredibly hard. But of course, what we can't ignore is, is that team support around us, and, 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 and I must say, and I'm sure you'll agree, that we couldn't have got round without the unsung heroes of Paul and Carvel. And they have been awarded the unsung heroes. So, uh, the next award is most probably one uh, I was hoping, um, I know we're all up for this one, uh, today there was some fierce competition for the next award uh, and I know lots of people will be disappointed not to have got this award it's the snooze or you lose award um, and, uh, and boy was it fierce competition uh, in peak seats I mean I've never seen people trying to uh, you know, get that first sleep in uh, I think we all know who that goes And it's the uh, our next award. Uh, it's one I always do. It's called the Land Army Award um, for keeping teams well fed. And uh, of course, we, we've been very privileged, and, and uh, we were very lucky. The award is going to go to Bill, but uh, we know that because he's kept yes. us very well fed. But when when I heard when Bill when we had a meeting, he said uh, we've got a stew. My eyes and my mind filter to the I mean, there are some variants of stew. But I was casting my mind back to my mum's stew and throwing bits of celery gristle behind her saying it's lovely. But I must admit, Bill, you, 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 you came up to us. The pasties were great, although I've never eaten a curry pasty at 11 o'clock in the night. With three Snickers and some Haribo, it doesn't work for me. But, uh, followed by Lizzie's driving. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Land Army Award uh, for keeping teams around well fed and morale high goes to Bill. Yeah. This is a very special thing. This is for our We've had the Whittle of the Week going on during this, and it's been a field of one because there's only one person. <laughs> <laughs> but we thought for your food. Now, uh, oh it, 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 it's work in progress. So Paul has said he can soak it somehow and put three peaks on there. But for now, we thought for all that lovely food, we've got a little uh, oh, memento. Oh, thank you. Wow. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, for those of you who still like uh, uh, ITV, but the, the, the penultimate award is uh, called the Family Fortunes Award. And uh, that is for the, uh, the biggest representation of, of families. And again, a very close. We've had the, uh, oh, the Marners here. We've had three yeah. here. We've had, uh, obviously, the Jenks is here. Uh, we've also had uh, Simon and the Colleges here. But the Family Fortune Award for the most members to complete the uh, <laughs> three pins for a If I could have got my mother up there to win this one, she would have been up there. Uh, at the time of family. Hey! So, here we go. Our final award is, uh, it's been hard this one, uh, and I, I, it's taken me uh, quite a long time. Um, it's called the Tuck It Away Award, and that's for the person who has eaten more than most probably they've burnt off, and uh, there's quite a few people in the world. <laughs> So, uh, uh, we're not going to do an official way in. 
we're just going to get into it. Now, this was hard. Um, so, uh, there's two awards uh, going out for this. Um, we've, we've had two, and it was very hard to split. We had, um, we had Matt Twyman here, who managed to eat uh, the biggest fat boy breakfast after the event. After having thirds of stew, which was commendable achievement, and I know uh, he's regretted it ever since. Uh, he's been asking for the wet wipes since he came. Uh, you are our first uh, award for tucking away award. Yeah. And, uh, our final tucking away award. And I have been impressed by this. Uh, for somebody who did so little walking but ate so much, I mean, if somebody was committed to the award, and that goes to Paul Bertram! That concludes our, our awards. <laughs>